Hey guys, it's D-Money Bala. Today we're gonna to be looking at an eGPU enclosure. This is a Razer Corex Chroma. Um, it's got RGB down the front and on the side here, um, and it allows uh, a card to be put into it that can pull up to 500 watts. We're putting my 6900 XT in there today, and we'll be hooking it up to this i7 10th generation Intel Nook. It's got 16 gigs of RAM and an NVMe drive, and we're going to be looking at uh, two games, Forza Horizon 5 and Age of Empires 4 um, frame rates with this uh, setup. To open this up, you can pull this handle out and then you can slide it out. You've got a thumb screw here to uh, put your GPU into, and uh, you get your two power connectors. You've got a fan that exhausts heat out the side. Uh, it'll fit the biggest cards I've ever owned, like this ROG Strix and uh, my 6900 XT. They all fit fine in here. We've got RGB here in the front and RGB here on the side. Um, and if you've got an RGB card, this is a ROG Strix. So it has that red. That red is the card itself. But this uh, pulsing RGB stuff is in the enclosure itself. So in Horizon 5 at 4K high, we got an average FPS of 43 frames per second. The FPS minimum was 38.1, and it looked like it was GPU limited 100% of the time. When we bumped those down to low in 4K, we got an average of 54 FPS, and the minimum was 47.7, and we were GPU limited basically the entire time there as well. Now we're going to look at 1440p. So in 1440p on high, that goes up to 46 FPS on average, that's 3 FPS more than at 4K on high, and the low was 33.7, um, and it was GPU limited 98.5% of the time, and then we had 58 average FPS with a 50.4 minimum, um, and also GPU limited basically the entire time. With Forza Horizon 5 in 1080p, at high we got 47 FPS with a minimum of 41.3 and with 1080p low settings we got 59 FPS on average with a minimum of 51.5. So going from 4K to 1080p low, um, which is pretty drastic change, we get an increase of 16 FPS, and the minimum FPS goes above the average FPS for the 4K high. So if you're wanting more of a 60 FPS solution, that 1080p low may be more of what you're looking for with a, with a situation like this. Moving on to Age of Empires 4, I was playing the French campaign and I got around 47 FPS on average and with a 1% low of 28 frames per second. Um, and this was with 4K high settings. So definitely uh, if you look at how it's scaled with Forza Horizon 5, Maybe 1440p medium would be the sweet spot with a setup similar to this. With the 6900 XT put into a PCIe slot with a Ryzen 5 5600X, I get much better frame rates than I do with this setup. And I think the reason we're running into lower frame rates here is the bottleneck of the Thunderbolt 3 bandwidth. And so um, it's kind of cool for people that have like laptops that want to be able to game at home, but then like take their laptop away. But for most people, this is probably too expensive to justify and you should probably just build a gaming desktop instead or buy a gaming laptop.